Outside of uh, Newport Harbor, there's no real hazards around here in the fog. Nothing, really, nothing to be concerned with right now. But I've got uh, 22 gallons of fuel there. I've got another eight-gallon thing there, so I got plenty of gas. And I've decided just to go up to uh, Duxbury today, visit my cousin, and then try to beat that storm tomorrow morning. So. Thanks for the send off. A little foggy here. You can see about, I don't know, 100 yards probably. So, unless something sneaks up behind me. Well, I'm on the down Easter Alexa. And I'm cruising in Block Island Sound. Got a car. The vineyard, but tonight I am Nantucket bound. Woohoo! The adventure is on. If you look up the definition of adventure, I think it says danger, so gotta do it. Well, <laughs> visibility's not great, that's for sure. Staying vigilant though. I think it's more comfortable without radar. I don't see all that stuff that could be things. Just look out for my immediate surroundings. Yeah. I'm out of the fog. I thought it was a lighthouse at first. Woohoo! There's my red can. Jeez. I'm only like... 100 feet from there. There's my first bit of land I can see. <laughs> I don't know if you can even see that in the camera. With my sunglasses, I can see it pretty well. Little box sticking out. But I'm heading up Buzzards Bay now. I think I got, well, I think I've gone about 20 miles or so. But there hasn't been anything to see. I, this is as the most visibility I've had in a while. Probably a quarter mile. So iconic New England scene. Alrighty, I just uh, paused here for a second. I'm uh, about halfway. Halfway, so about 36 miles I've done. 
about eight miles to the canal. And the sea state's pretty good. So I'm not getting beat up too much. And I'm going with the wind and with the tide, so that's good. So I'll give you a little update. Kind of look a little eerie up there. I think because I know this is narrowing and there should be ships coming out, out of here. <laughs> That it's looking a little eerie to me, but I know there's beautiful views around here, but can't see anything yet. All right, see you in a bit. Beginning of the canal stuff. It's not quite in the canal, but the markers. I'm in the channel. I see a little island there. Some of the only land I've seen. Much else to report. Everything's all right. Got my tether on. Got my radio on. Pretty good. Land. I see my first bridge coming up. Still pretty foggy. <laughs> It's almost 11. Fog usually burns off by then. Can't quite read that blue sign. N O I. Oh, notice. <laughs> Tides are ripping up here. 72 degrees. It was 74 almost out in Buzzards Bay. I was surprised. Stadium. This is at the very entrance. Nice Buzzards Bay out there, still quite foggy. What a nice spot you got there, buddy. Looks like they have a nice bike path along the canal here. Ooh. That's what the Cape's known for, traffic. <laughs> Not much down here though. a sign back there that said um, speed limit 10 miles an hour no wake I wonder if it's just for this bridge I was going a little faster than that and nuts Water temperature went down a bit. Really pretty. I don't know how they expect those boats not to throw up a wake going into a five knot current. Canal cruises. 
Looks like they have a little campground up there. RV. Look at the look what this <laughs> the canal does with the incoming water. Woohoo! Remember this, Megan? I was on another boat and a wave came right over the bow because of a, a similar thing. Wish you had been there, it was quite funny. Went through a little rough patch back there. I got a weird breaking waves over here. I just went by some rocks. Got a boat over my shoulder here, but they have a bike path on both sides. Kind of cool. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Warm. I'm going with the wind at the same speed. It's quite hot now. Glad to be able to see some stuff. I was thinking maybe this was where Cape Cod water met Buzzards Bay water, but I don't know. It's weird. Still 40 feet here. <laughs> I believe this is the third bridge. against this tide. I'm in this guy's wake. I'm like surfing down his wake. Saving me fuel. <laughs> Whee! Hear that? Yeah! I think I got radar up there going. I guess maybe to check people's speed. Producing plant, possibly. Electricity. And that looks like Cape Cod waters to me. Got a little marina over here. Uh, Coast Guard Station 2. They all look pretty similar. Or exactly alike. Alright, I'm going to be looking for that great white shark out here in Cape Cod Bay. I guess you call that Cape Cod and that side not Cape Cod. It looks like beautiful beaches on both sides actually. <laughs> Okay, great wait, where are you? He was seen like, I don't know, like five miles in that direction on June 29th. All right, I'm out in the bay. Wow, look at that temperature difference. 60 degrees now. <laughs> yeah, the Gulf Stream doesn't quite make it up here. This reminds me of Block Island, those bluffs over there. So the navigation wants to take me um, like straight out there because it's the direct route. Uh, I'm going to stay along the shoreline here, check things out. Got quite a few wind things going on there too, turbines. Nice that I can see some stuff now. Woohoo! Saw something floating in the water over here. It just looks like a floating line. I don't want a boat to pick it up. Their prop ruined their day. or is it marking something? I can't tell. Yeah, just, oh no. 
Oh yeah, no, that goes down. It's marking something. Now I'm gonna get my prop stuck in. <laughs> Weird uh, buoy, just a stick. Cool. Or the White Cliffs of Dover. I got about 17 miles to get up into the Duxbury Plymouth area. And high tide's at 3. So I got plenty of time. It's just noon time now. I left at uh, quarter of 9. So, doing well. Someone at Everything Boston Whale that said, watch out for the lobster pots. That was good advice. It's like a sea of them right here. Mm. I'll watch out. Four or five miles out of uh, Duxbury limit. Looks like there's no wind up here. There's a mirage or something. It looks cool. Let's see. some big swirls right here. Getting some bird activity. Water temperature jumped up a little bit. Oh, now it's dropping back down actually. Lots of water temperature changes. Oh, there's a big swirl right there. What's that? Looks like a striper, maybe. <laughs> and right there. Entering the harbor here. Alrighty. This is Plymouth Harbor. I'm going to see if I can get some fuel over here so I'll be ready for tomorrow. The Mayflower. Assuming it was parked out there and they rode in, there's a lot of shoaling in here. I don't know, I'm gonna have to look up a little bit more history on what kind of time of day if they have that kind of, <laughs> those kind of records. Check it out. Well, let's go check out Plymouth Rock. The first landing point. Oh yeah, my men, the Vikings were here first. That's why they got that good mooring, I bet. Cool little harbor in here. There it is. Hey, do good. How are you? I just came up from Rhode Island, Southern Rhode Island. From Narragansett. I brought it to Key West two years ago, actually. That doesn't sound familiar. Oh. Yeah. Nice. That's a good ride. 
I, I got a cousin that lives over in Duxbury, so I thought I'd say hi to The Rock, and I'm going to see him. There she is, Plymouth Rock, under there. I guess they think someone might steal her. Poor little whale being towed. It's the Pilgrim Bell. There's nobody on it. Kinda cool. All right, I'm going over to Duxbury, which is somewhere over there. There it is. Nice little spot with a cool house and such. Yeah. Here comes Dave. What? So I made it to Cousin Dave's house. There's the old salt out on a mooring. That'll be high and dry at low tide. All, all these boats will be high and dry. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's only... Those one, two, three, and that one out there, they're all, they're way, all in the channel. I can see the channel out there. I guess it's really, technically, it's not a channel. It? Yeah, it's not, um, there's no, nothing on the chart. Like, yeah. nav it's not navigable, I guess, at low tide. You gotta know who you Okay, <laughs> swim. It all depends on when he gets here. I said, he could have a hard time, depending on when he gets here. Because there's so many people who come cruising through, and then they end up high and, you know, they end up Right. Er, this is my little place, I guess. Yeah. How lucky am I? Wow. Check this out. This is my little place, the little pool house. There's a bed up there, I guess. A couple beds. Futon, little kitchen. I didn't know I was gonna have this kind of luxury. I haven't been to my cousin's house in, I'm gonna guess, 15 years. A little garden. I remember you had chickens when I was here last. It looks like another little house. Cool. I'm going to be very comfortable. overlooking towards Plymouth and there's the old salt my camera's overheating does that weeby weird weeby thing he put this flag up so I could find the house and I'm gonna jump in the pool oh no old salt you don't like it, high and dry. High and dry in the grass. This is like, this is like crazy tide. I swam in in four feet of water before. Hey! This is awesome, this is one of those boats that obviously will run up on the with the wheels and they own this house and they have a house way over there and they can drive right up to it in their boat it's very cool no matter what the tide holy smokes this is some serious fog I got up early this morning I was gonna 
make the move, but I don't really mind being in fog in the areas that I know, kind of know where big ships will be, but this is too much of a question mark for me. The old salt's over there on high and dry, but you can't see it. Hard to get used to these tides. Nine, ten foot tides. Weird. Cool, but weird. Looks like a trailer ride home. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe.